Fort Myers. Got 306 miles to go. I've uh, went ahead and plotted this just south of the oil rigs. So I, I don't know. I imagine there's another 40 miles to go after that. But uh, there's a channel through the oil rigs, and I'd like to go through there during the day. Uh, but either way, and of course uh, things could change, and you end up uh, in. Apalachicola or Mexico Beach, uh, Panama, <clears throat> who knows? But we're about 30 miles or so, I think, uh, off the coast at the moment. 305 miles to go. Motor sailing, I guess. Uh, I have the main up. The wind is clocking as it normally does on the Gulf. Um, I'm expecting light winds. For the duration of this trip, probably 50% motoring, 50% sailing. Uh, as far as as far as tonight goes, another couple hours, the wind may clock around enough to put out the Genoa and kill the engine and do some do some sailing. But I'm I'm not 100% sure. But I have enough fuel to make it all the way, so. Uh, it'd be nice just not to have the noise. Okay, this is the evening of the second day. And uh, motor sailing. Uh, I was able to have the engine off for maybe about four or five hours today. Um, but that was it. Uh, we're heading uh, straight into the wind at the moment. Got the uh, fishing pole out the back with a cedar plug. Um, electric autopilots doing the steering. And everything is uh, perfectly smooth. Uh, going according to plan. Uh, just a boring trip across the Gulf. All right, it's 10 a.m. Uh, let's see, I think it is <clears throat> completing the second 24 hour period <clears throat> of this trip. Um, sea conditions are perfect, as you can see, and uh, we are, looks like about 60 miles south of Apalachicola. being pushed by the bow of the boat. Cruise yeah. control. There's a whole family right there. Wow. Look at that. Jesus. Unbelievable. Look at that. You feel like you could uh, just reach out and touch them. footage right here was absolutely worth the motor sailing uh, 
you know, I'm not going to lie, mundane uh, boredom. But you can't get water like this or footage like this. Look at this. Unbelievable. gonna get closer. They're probably gonna be like, you know what? Now you're too close. There's grandpa right there. sure that I have never seen anybody get this kind of footage. So one, two, three, four. About ten or fifteen of them. They must be uh, heading in my direction. Look at this. It's absolutely motionless that one. Okay, right there. taking turns getting pushed by the boat like uh, birds when they're drafting maybe I got some flying fish skipping across the water hmm interesting Yeah. 
Pode apagar. Onde vai se ver essa ali? A pé. A pé se assustou, né? Okay, another video log. Uh, <clears throat> the wind is starting to pick up, so uh, I put out the Genoa. Um, we've got uh, 107 miles to go until we uh, come up on the oil fields just outside Mobile. Um, just absolutely perfect sailing. And uh, we should be able to shut the motor off. Uh, I could probably shut it off now and do three knots, but I think I'll wait a few more hours. But this has just been a great crossing so far. I believe it's day four. We're eight hours away from dropping anchor in Mobile Bay. Um, we're in the channel, I guess you could call it that. We're just running a head sail. I dropped the main, I believe uh, just because of the wind angle and to stay in this channel, uh, we're gonna be heading almost direct downwind, so it just made more sense. Um, we're motoring. Obviously we don't need to, we got enough wind, but I'm hoping to maybe shave an hour off the trip and drop the hook at three instead of four in the morning. Uh, anyway, I knew this was gonna happen. I could have easily changed course yesterday to Panama City and uh, we'd have been in already and uh, relaxing, but uh, this just made more sense and uh, no regrets, but it's going to be a long uh, eight hours, I think.